I'm Brian McBrien. I'm one of the owners of Cinema Greens LLC here in Hampton, Georgia. And then I'm also a local 800 production designer art director and a local 44 greens coordinator. So how did you get started as a greensman? Um, came out of Central Michigan University with a degree in broadcast and cinematic arts in 90, late 96. Um, and then just moved to LA. You know, a couple of guys, we loaded up a truck and headed out there and took a chance. But um, I had one connection, a gentleman named Frank McEldowney. And uh, he was a greens coordinator at the time in LA, he's still actually out there. And he had kind of hit that point where he had offered some advice to me. So I pretty much took him up on it and ended up in the greens department. But it turned out to have a pretty good knack for it and really enjoyed it. What are some important lessons or tips that he bestowed upon you as a lot of it i think was really the skill of budgeting um and it's funny because when i first started which would have been 97 my first film was contact a robert zemeckis jody foster project um it didn't seem as budget oriented i mean obviously it's a business so budget's always been important and accounting's always taken a role but somewhere within that first five to seven years that i got into hollywood it shifted it became less about the director and the creative side and became more about the script, the actors, and the budget. And you still see that. It's kind of pervasive, I think, in the industry today. Um, a lot of projects come in, and they may be a $30 million project, but let's say they have six decent names. The first big name, or the number one on the, on the crew list, may take eight or ten million of that. And then as you successively go down the call sheet, which is how you're actors are broken down, as you get two through six, they may eat up another 15 million. So when you start doing the math on a $30 million project and you're losing 20 to 25 mil just for talent, how do you have five to seven million to cover grip, lighting, art department, greens, locations, catering, craft service, makeup, special effects, I mean, all the other crafts that come in. And I think that's one of the big things that Frank taught me early on was know your budget, Never go over it is the key. Utilize as much as you can to make the art department happy because obviously the designer has golden dreams. The producer has, I don't know, <laughs> dirt dreams. So it's how do you find that middle ground to make everybody happy.